Hey guys, Dwayne from Blue Jay Bushcraft on uh, on another hike again. Right around the Silverdale area. I don't know who these reprobates are, I've never seen them before in my life. You may remember from the last video we did in this area, this was where we stopped for a quiet brew and 300 people walked past. But, uh, just had a bit of a break there, nice and peaceful this time. So I'll carry on for a bit and uh, see what we can find. this time, headed round the, well we headed through the trees and just come back, back out on the coast, coast path again. So, as you can see, cracking views around here, beautiful place to go for a walk. Coming on for evening time now. We found ourselves a camp spot. So we'll get uh, we'll get the camp set up, and uh, then I'll show you the camp. Yeah, so now I've got the camp set up, or uh, my part of it anyway. That's the tarp, baby bag and sleeping bag in there, cocker over there, rucksacks. Under its uh, rain cover up here. If we swing round, he's just getting his hoop bivy set up there, and Gary seems to be getting set up quite nicely over there. to do now is set up the, uh, the portable radio and see how we go with that. Right, okay, so we've got the uh, the radio set up and the portable system. There's the the radio there and the antenna. Um, I don't know if you can see it up there, but it's hanging in that tree up there. I just looped some paracord over and hooked it up. So let's... Uh, Let's put a call out and see what we can do. Sui Zero DIJ Portable, listening through GB3MP, standing by for any calls. Jab to Echo Z, uh, Delta India through there. This is uh, Mike 6, Papa Fox Rock Gold Portable. Mike 6, Papa Fox Truck Golf Portable, I think that was, uh, to Sui Zero DIJ Portable returning. Uh, name's Dwayne this side, Delta Uniform Alpha November Echo. Uh, current loca location is on uh, on our side, not uh, just in the south end of uh, Cumbria. There, back to you. Uh, good evening, Dwayne. Uh, operator name is Peter. Echo Tango Echo Romeo. And I'm in uh, Malpas, uh, just by Shropshire, in uh, the steam rally there. Back to you. Two zero DIJ Portable. That's uh, that's a good contact. Um, I wonder how far you are from uh, from Denby there. Um, well, calculations from here to my house, which is Wallace, which is about 20 to Denby to Wales, uh, I think around about 35 to 45 miles, I should imagine, this way. 20 DIJ Portable returning. Um, well, I'm 79 miles north. So uh, I think that makes it a contact of over 100 miles via a repeater, so obviously it's cheating a little bit, but uh, that's not bad going, that. Quite pleased with that. Morning of day two. And this is the... Uh, this is the view I've woken up to.
doesn't get much better than this. There's some of the uh, tarp back over itself there. Give me a bit of room to sort things out this morning. The kit laid out there on the uh, sleeping pad, ready for packing up. Coffee there. Porridge for breakfast. So I'm in the process of uh, packing up and getting stuff to eat at the moment. So I'm just get something to eat and pack up and then, uh, then move on. First night's camp set uh, packed up. And as always, leave it like you've never been there. Future reference. When we see people and they stand out, go like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Black Bruce for breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't fall in there, it's not good for you. <laughs> it's so tempting to be the lightest. It's just so tempting to just lift his foot up, isn't it? <laughs> Not a bad view to come out of the woods and see. Yeah. Can't take the pace, poor old boy. Hey. Nothing? Uh, nothing, mate. Didn't say a word. I've seen that pose before. For a quick breather, part way up, aren't I? Not. That's the path we came up there. Time for a quick break. And we finished our break. We're going up there. No shortage of snacks on the way up, aren't I? Not. Still on the way on, up hand side knot, which is that hill there. It's uh, just come across this. That is one quite spectacular old yew tree. Far off the summit of Arnside Knot, and we found the knotted tree. Or knotted trees. Yeah, this was originally two pine trees that were uh, knotted together. Unfortunately, uh, time has took its toll on it. That bit there did used to stick up. On top of there. But, uh, sadly, time's done its work on it. Oh well. Time to push onto the summit. Now that is not a bad view. That's lovely, isn't it? I can think I can safely say that path wasn't the best choice. It gets better from here on. Dave ever gets to choose what direction we go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
this definitely doesn't look as bad for me now. Here comes Dave the Mountain Girl. Right. We've had a unanimous decision, you're not choosing the path next time. <laughs> right. It's fairly easy. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say it's points like this where you kind of think, well, we need to be down there. Yeah. And the path we're on now goes back up. But it's also points like this where you've got to think, no, that's not sensible. <laughs> Definitely not. Especially with the heavy packs on. Yeah, without the packs. Keep to the path and avoid accidents. Yeah. Well, hopefully. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. <laughs> yeah. On the bright side, we'll get another good view at the top of here. That's the path we took on the way up down there, yeah. Well. The views around here just don't stop coming. we go, even better an actual path. I'm not saying this is... Uh... <laughs> I just want to get on record, but I did say we shouldn't follow Dave again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hang on, if we're not following Dave again, he's going that way. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's... Uh... We've got to get down there somehow. Nice and slow, short steps, don't rush it. Oh, there we go. Slightly more level path again now. Oh, wow, just look at that. Beautiful. Back down again now. That is where we've just been up. That's our side knot. And we're now heading down past the farm there. And then uh, up into the woods beyond. We'll stop off and have a look at our side tower first, which you can't just quite see behind the trees there. There's our side, not where we've just been. And the farm. And up here. Is our side tower. Finally arrived at the pepper pot. <sighs> and yet more views. That's new, what's that then? It's a rest. It's Gary Henderson's
I saw an airless thing that came up. That's a no. Hmm. Been there. Got the camp set up now. Gary and David just starting the tea over there. This is my little patch here. Just hold the uh, front of the tarp back over the back there so I can get a better view. Bivy bag there. The uh, sleep mat underneath it. There's Robin Hood chilling out. In case anybody's not come across Robin before, he has his own page on Facebook called Robin Hood's Travels and he tends to get about a bit, that little guy. Uh, I've got this extra string here, and then bits and pieces on. That's the, uh, the bags for the sleeping bag, tarp, etc, etc. My head torch. Radio, which isn't focusing very well. That's the bag from the camera. And uh, this is the view we've got around. It's starting to get dark now. It's got my uh, binoculars there on the tree in case I just need to grab them for anything. In that case, it's hung up there out of the way. Bergen with its waterproof cover on in case it rains in the night. And there's my uh, cook set, which I'm just about to go and make some tea with. So uh, yeah, that's the that's the campsite. Should be a nice peaceful night tonight. Uh, last time I here we saw a deer. It ran ran past just across those rocks there. So oh, you never know what might see one of those again. We've been sit sitting listening to uh, to a woodpecker, but uh, the camera didn't pick it up. So but, uh, listening to that tapping away in the trees, it's been quite a pleasant evening so far. But uh, I'll go and make some tea. And I think it's going to be getting a bit dark for not for any more filming now. So I'll, uh, I'll probably catch you in the morning. Well, it's morning on day t day three. This is uh, what we've woken up to this morning. Some was blasting through the trees a little while ago, but it seems to have clouded over a bit. Got the stuff out there ready for getting breakfast on the go. This is my little part of the camp here. I'm using the uh, Highlander tarp, I put it with the front up. Just raised it up because it is a small tarp, so it just gives it a little bit more more room if you just lift it up like that. Get a view from the end of it. Might get a better idea that way. I'm just using the uh, rain cover from the Bergen. If I get anything out of the rucksack, I tried to use that. It's so easy to lose stuff in the, you know, in the, in this stuff. If something gets in there, you'll. Uh, It'll disappear, so I'll try to sort everything out in there. Like I think I said last night, I've got the uh, extra line up there. Hanging bits and pieces on. So basically the plan is now, have a bit of breakfast, pack up and uh, get going again. And as ever, Always leave the campsite looking like you've never been there.
no rubbish, not a trace that we've been, exactly how it should be. Thank <laughs> you.